Hey guys, set up behind me here is the Coleman Instant North Star 10 Darkroom Tents. I am going to show you how to set it up and how to pack it away today. Let's check it out. Hit it. Ben from Snowy's here guys, down in Adelaide's western suburbs at the Big Four West Beach Holiday Park. This is just a stone's throw from the beach, just over the other side of the park here. 20 minutes from the city, there's tons of space, lots of facilities for mum, dad and the kids. They've given us some space to set up some products for you to hear today. I'm going to show you how to set up and pack away the Coleman Instant North Star 10 Darkroom Tent. Now the tent weighs about 30 kilos, packed up, measures about 120 long by 32 high and 32 deep. I'll get started setting it up shortly, but I'll show you first what comes in the bag. Now inside the bag for your Instant North Star 10 here, it's all secured with a couple of tie straps here. You get the main portion of the tent. This has got the tent and the frame all tied in as one and pitches together. This is the fly sheet over to the side here. You get all the guy ropes and there's six, I think six guy um, awning poles and there's still awning poles and a big bag of pegs. Now to get started setting it up, we can put the fly and the poles aside. We've got to spread the inner out and peg all the corners down. Now this one sets up a little bit differently than the other instant up tents in the range. It's a hoop style tent. So it's actually got four hoops that do up this way. So we've got to unroll it and set them up separately. It's more of a tunnel style tent. So if we unroll this, find all the corners and then peg them all out. Now the pegs that come with your North Star 10 tent are pretty light on when it comes to thickness. Um, You'd benefit from upgrading the pegs, at least upgrade a handful of them so that you've got heavier pegs for the guy ropes. I'm gonna use these today though. I'll also mention I've got a six meter by three meter ground sheet that I'm setting the tent up on here today. I am gonna have to fold this front bit under a little bit to get some pegs in place. Alternatively, if I didn't wanna fold it under, I could put eyelets in the ground sheet where I want the pegs to go. But right now, I'm gonna put all these pegs in all the corners of the base. Now I put the pegs in the base, there's three in each end at the moment. Now it is picking up a little bit windy here. Certainly benefit from a second set of hands, but I'll see how I go by myself. What we need to do next is start to invert these poles. So there's two lots of knuckles, one on each side. This steel section goes to a fiberglass section here. They invert, and then the middle section here, we can push down a little bit and it sort of locks into place. We'll go inside and double check that shortly. But we need to do orient each pole section so it looks roughly like this. Firstly, these two knuckles and then push this one down to lock it in place. The next step is to extend the steel section of these poles out as such so that it brings the tent up to full height. So that's the inner pretty much set up. We'll just double check a few things before we put the, put the fly on. First of all, make sure all these clips are attached to the pole. So I'll just go around the tent and make sure they're all in place. Some of them can't come off. And secondly, we need to step inside the tent here and make sure that these mechanisms at the top are locked into place. Up under here, there is a little handle to pull. We just pull down on that and just make sure that that little red button at the top is locked in tightly. Next step for us now is to get the fly sheet on. Now it might take a little bit of wrangling to try and work out the right orientation for the fly sheet, but we just need to make sure the doors line up on the right side. So I'll unfold this and try and work it all out. So I've laid the fly sheet out here to try and get the orientation right. It's not the easiest, but to give you a guide, there's four doorways to this tent. There's, and they're golden in color. So this one here is gonna be my back door. The two golden panels at each end are my end doors. Now the reason I know that it's that way around because on this side here, I'm going to have my awning set up. Now the awning has got these extra panels of fabric kind of zipped up underneath. They're the, the, what forms the walls on the side of the awning when I set it up. So I've got a panel here and a panel up underneath here. They're just the extra flaps of fabric in underneath. Where is it? Over here. So this is the extra fabric that'll create the wall for my awning. So I know that this side here is gonna be this side of the tent. Now this would be a whole lot easier with a second set of hands to pull it up over the top. Might be a bit of a wrestle by myself, but I'll see how I go. So I've got the fly sheet over the top. Now we do need to attach the fly sheet to the inner. So if we just fold this back at the end here, at the top here, there's a couple of Velcro tabs. They line up with the Velcro on the inner here. So we just wrap that over the top. And then on each side, there are some other Velcro tabs or just a loop. It's this one here, which goes around the fiberglass pole at the top here. Now these loops feature on the inner two hoops. And then there's another one of these on the far end that we've got to put in place. 
So there's a couple more loops here on the center one. So these ones actually go around the steel pole on the side here. That's on the front and the back of the tent. So that's the fly sheet attached to the inner. Now I just got to go around and put all the pegs in around the base. So I've got most of the pegs in around the base now. Um, what I'm going to do next is put the guy ropes in and I can also peg these windows out if I wanted. They're shut as storm covers at the moment, but if I was to unzip this, there's a guy rope on each corner that allows me to peg these out as little kind of sheltered shade awnings over the windows if I like. I'm not going to do that now and I haven't put any pegs up on the front here because we've got multiple awning options with this tent. We're going to get the guy ropes in first and then I'll talk to you about the awnings. So I put six guy ropes in place, two on each end and two on the side. There is an extra one in the center at the end here. Uh, and I haven't set the guy ropes up on the front here because I'm going to set that awning up shortly. This is where the magic happens at the front here. Before I do that, you get six awning poles for this tent. So you need four to set up the large awning at the front. And the other two, you've got the option of either setting up this end has got brass eyelets in the corners so we can set this up as an awning. The same can be said for the door at the rear here. This can also be set up as an awning and the same door that features at this end, same as that door, can also be set up as an awning. So we've got multiple awning options. I'll set that up first and then we'll talk about the awning options at the front. I've got my four awning poles here. There's two shorter ones and two longer ones. The shorter ones for each end of the front here, the longer ones in the middle. Now there's a multitude of setup options for this awning at the front here and it's probably hard to, well, it is going to be hard to explain it without setting it up. So I'm going to set it up first and then I'll run through all the options with you. So before I set this up, I've just unzipped this gusset here, which gives the, the awning a little bit of space to kind of spread out when it's set up. Then I find the eyelets in the corner I put our awning pole through the eyelets and then I guy rope over the top of that and peg it out. So I've got the awning set up in full at the front here now. I've just had to, I'll make note, I've just had to fold the ground sheet back a little bit here to get the peg in the corner, but I've still got a nice amount of ground sheet sticking out the front here. Now, this is the awning set up in full. So I've got the shorter poles on each end here and the taller ones in the middle. I've undone these gussets in the middle here so that it allows the awning to expand out to its full extent. I've also extended these walls on the end here. Now there are eyelets obviously in the four spots that I've got poles at the moment, but there are extra eyelets here and another one here as well. So this awning can actually be divided into three sections. So we can have and a small awning each side with this one closed if we want or we can just have this awning with both sides closed down. There are zips down the middle here that allow us to close this side down and collapse all of this back up if we want. The walls on the ends too don't have to be set up. We can unzip them as well. I take the peg out the bottom, roll this back and secure it against the tent. So there are multiple setup options with the awning at the front here so it gives you a really unique living space in your tent. That's how you set up the common instant North Star 10 darkroom tent. Much easier if you've got a second set of hands but I managed by myself. Pack up is just as easy. First thing I'm going to do is pull the guy reps out and put all the awning poles away. Now I can go in and take the guy reps out. Uh, there's no wind here at the moment so I'm not too concerned about anything blowing away. I'll take the pegs out around the base of the fly, remove the velcro tabs around the poles and I can fold the fly up. So if you just take a little bit of time to fold the fly as flat as you can, it's going to make fitting it back in the bag a whole lot easier. It's also a lot easier if you've got a second set of hands to help you, particularly if it's windy. Now there's two stages to collapsing the inner down. First one is to release our little uh, buttons on the side here to collapse all four arms down. You might need to unzip the door just to step in far enough to get to this button here, but there's a red button inside here. You can just see it through the mesh there. We need to push that down and that's going to release this mechanism to fold upwards so that the corner knuckles release. So we push it down with your hands on both sides, push down on the whole thing and you just feel the mechanism release and eventually it'll easily just fold open like that. The knuckles fold in at the sides and we do that on each, each pole and then these just fall to the side and we can fold it in half. So now we can let the poles just sort of collapse down. What I want to do now is pull the pegs out from the ends and then we're going to fold the long half of the tent on top of the other long half of the tent and then we can roll it up. And from this point, I'm just going to fold this end into where the first pole is so that I've got something to start rolling with. From here, I can grab the pole, start to roll the whole tent up. Now from here we can grab our straps and tie this up. Now I've rolled the fly and the inner up separately. I'll see how I go getting that back in the bag. Now that's put 
fit back in the bag pretty easily with the fly and the inner rolled up separately. Now that is how you set up and pack away the Coleman Instant North Star Darkroom Tent. I did that all by myself pretty easily. Certainly be easy with a second set of hands. You can grab these online at snowies.com.au. Lowest prices every day. Hope you found that useful. We'll see you next time. Don't run away on us yet, guys. If you thought that video was super useful, why not subscribe to our channel and you'll get all of our latest and greatest information. Got any questions? Let us know down below. Just give us a thumbs up if you've got nothing else to say or check out our other instant up videos like this one down here.